So before we actually get going on the warm-up, just a quick review of our properties of logs. All right, these are in your student journal, but your product property, where if you're adding the same base log, um, you can take the two pieces you're adding, you're taking the log of and multiply them together. Quotient, if you're subtracting the same base log, you take those two pieces you're taking the log of and divide them. And then power, you can move that power that in out to the front, you get in log base B of M. Okay? Then your change of base formula. Remember, usually we'd want to go to base 10 or natural log, um, but the C, you take log of whatever your base is, put it down here, so you have log of C, and then the A goes up, log of A. Okay? All right, so let's do that quick warm up there. Okay, can I have your attention up here, please? All right, so number five, expand the log. That means break it apart by applying our properties. So the first thing we'd want to do is break apart these two pieces. Now, make, make a note to yourself, if these were in parentheses, like that, if the whole thing was being raised to the fourth power, then we'd want to pull the four out first. Okay, but since the whole thing is not raised to the fourth power, the first step is to break those two things apart, which means to get that times that, you had to have log base 6 of 3 plus log base 6 of x to the 4. You've now expanded it. And now to expand it even more, you could bring that 4 out to the front. So call it log base 6 of 3 plus 4 log base 6 of x. You've now expanded it. So you've kind of undone the simplifying of it, if you think of it that way. Okay? The same thing here. If you're dividing, really that means you're subtracting the two, right? So we have natural log of 5 minus the natural log of 12x. Now, can we break that apart anymore? Is there not, there's a product right here, right? And so you would want to break that apart to become, this piece would become the natural log of 12 plus the natural log of x. So this chunk becomes that whole thing. Which means when we write it, at the very end, I want everyone to write out what your final answer is on that. Make sure we don't make any mistakes. Question? Don't want to see if anyone makes any. Get to it. Okay, so Sylvia, go ahead now. Yeah, you have to put parentheses around the whole thing because you're subtracting that whole thing. Okay? Either that or you'd have to do minus and minus, distribute the negative, which is the other way. You could write it as, um, you could put it like that, or you could say ln5 minus ln12 minus lnx. That would be fine as well. questions there? All right, next one, condense the log. So now we're going the opposite way. So subtracting, that becomes log base x of, or x over, 9. And this one, before we have ln, we have 3 ln, and we have ln. So what do we have to do first? Yeah, yeah you can't have that 3 out there. They have to have all the same coefficient in front. So now we have this part becomes ln3 cubed. And I'm going to leave it like that for now. Okay. And so now I have ln4 plus ln3 cubed 
So that is ln 4 times 3 cubed. And ln 12, so we're subtracting, so it's divided by 12. Everyone see how it all fit together? Okay, so this whole piece up here is being divided by that, so we use the quotient property there. And then from there, we'll go ahead and simplify it. So 3 cubed is 81, or excuse me, is 27. Okay, and 27 times 4 is? 108 over 12, which is actually 9. Pretty sweet, huh? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Hey, any questions? That's so fun. Yeah. All right. Here's what I'd like you to do right now. I want you to go to page 177 of your student journal. On page 177, I want you to complete the first column. So 1, 5, 9, and 12. 1, 5, 9, and 12. And then if you're just sitting around twiddling your thumbs, go to the ones that are a little tougher for you and try more in that row. 1, 5, 9, and 12. Okay, to make sure we're all on the same page, well, hopefully we're all on page 177. Thank you. Okay, um, just to double check, number one, see how you're doing. Number one. So you're using a calculator? Well, not actually using a calculator for, but you're, I'm guessing that some of you were using a calculator to add those up. Okay, a lot of you are on our calculators. But it, if you remember how to add decimals, I know that we get so used to calculate, you're just stacking them and adding, right? Okay, so 5.907. You got it, man. All right, so we got to first write it in this format, break it apart into log base 2 of 5 and log base 2 of 12. Recognize 5 times 12 is 60. Okay, and number 5. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah, you'd have to... If you're if you're expanding using this, you have to recognize with 144 that 12 goes into it, and so you write it as 12 to the negative second, and then you can use log base 12. Bring that negative two out, so negative two log base 12. So log base log base two of 12, excuse me, log base two of 12, 3.585, and then multiply by negative two. So really, each time it's trying to figure out how you can make these in base 12, or excuse me taking the log of 12 and log of 25, or the log of 12 and log of 5. Okay, so like in 72, you have 5 times five times 12 to the second power, or 5 times 144. Okay, so if you can break it into that, that wasn't up there, then you're able to use that log base 2 of 5 and log base 2 of 12, use these actual values. Okay. So if you're struggling with any of those, try, try them out. You'll have some on your assignment today. Number five, expand the log. So you're multiplying here. So using the product property, you're actually going to add the two um, individual pieces together. So it would be 10 plus x, so log of 10 plus the log of x. Log of 10 is 1 because that's log base 10 of 10. And log of x. Number niner. You're condensing them, so you end up with log base 2 of 3 times 8, log base 2 of 24. 24 is not a base 2, so you can't do anything with that. Either. Any questions so far? Number 12. 
Number 12, we have our log base 2 of 625 divided by 125, same base. Okay, you'd have to bring the one-third in to be able to deal with this. So I've divided these two, and then I'm adding that one. Okay, this actually simplifies. I'm going to simplify it first, so 27 to the one-third power is 3. 625 divided by 125 is 5. So that makes it a lot prettier, aesthetically pleasing at least. Okay, log base 2 of 5 plus log base 2 of 3 is log base 2 of 15. How many got that one? All right. Good. All right. Hey, I want you to go ahead and turn the page. On the next page, I want you to give numbers 14, 14 through 17 to go. Use the change of base formula. Remember, if you have to, look back to your student journal. All right. Hey, change of base. This would be log base 10 of 17 over log base 10 of 3. And now you can do the math, right, using your calculator. You could either change it to base 10 to use your calculator, or what's the other base? Yeah, or you could go natural log of 17 over natural log of 3. They will give you the exact same value. Otherwise, your calculator's broken. Sorry. Didn't mean to break it to you. Matt. I didn't mean to do that one. I just like. Yeah, to find the numeric value. So, like in this case, it's 2.579 or. Yeah, I just do it in my head. I memorize them. Just on my spare time. Okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put up the other answers here. That might be the real way I'm getting them so quickly. I went base 10 on all of them just because I like base 10. Better than all my other bases. Okay. Sometimes when you get bored, just start by counting by other bases. Yeah. Just for fun. All right. Questions? All right. Someone check my work on 16. Sylvia's getting a different value. Oh, Log of. Oh, say it again. You could. It would. Yeah, it's more work. Okay. So maybe just double check. Are you putting the four nines in parentheses? Okay. Okay. Last problem before we move on. Sylvia, I'll look at it with you. Number 18. Give number 18 a go. Actually, we might do number 18 and 19. I'm very proud of this thing. Good job. All right. Hey, um, let's make sure we understand the problem. For a, for a sound with the intensity, hey, pay attention, please. For sound with the intensity of I, the loudness of L of I um, of the sound in decimals is given by this function, where I sub zero is the intensity, intensity of barely audible sound, so about 10 to the negative 12. The intensity of the sound of certain children's television show is half the intensity of the adult show that is on before it. How many decimals does the loudness decrease? Yeah, that's a lot of that's a lot of info, man. Okay, so let's take from the beginning here. They just kind of give us a uh, they kind of define everything for us. So if I take my function L of i, and that's equal to 10 log 
i to the i sub o. Okay, and we think of this as let's say this is the child's, right? Because we're dealing with two different programs. We're dealing with a child's program and an adult's program. So we're going to have to do this two different times. Okay, it's saying by how many more or how many decimals does the loudness decrease when you're going from the children's show and to the adult show. Okay, so in this case, we're going to take the child's intensity and we're going to subtract the adult's intensity. So in here, 10 to the, or 10 log of I, what's I sub O? 10 to the negative 12. They give us that in the problem where they say it's about that. Okay. Now what we need to do is we need to actually give an intensity for the children's television show. Okay. The sound of a certain children's television show is half the intensity of the adult. So if the children's is, let's just call it one. Okay. I mean, we call it whatever we want, but if we say it's one, let's calculate what one over 10 to the negative 12 the log of that times 10 is. It's what? 120th? 120? Okay. Now I'm not checking this, so I'm hoping you guys are checking. The adult show? Yeah, it's not that I don't trust Dallas. It's good. Okay. If we're dealing with the adult show, we're still at the same formula. And the I sub O is still 10 to the negative 12. It's just that this number is, it's twice that, right? So it would be 2. So what do we end up with there? You don't know? Anyone get the number here? Matt, what do you got? What's that? Three? Oh, 123. Exactly? Was this exactly 120? Yes. Okay, so... When I subtract the two, it's actually adult minus child. I had misread it at the beginning. But you end up with adult minus child is? It does equal lonely parent. Did I miss a zero there? Okay. All right. Okay, and decibels. Does it tell us to round that? No, so we'll just leave it. Oh, man. Hey, we're going to actually be done. We're not going to worry about number 19. Just very similar stuff, just applying a different formula. So if you want to try it, you can. But any questions?